I have a list of items here that I want to convert to an outline format. But first off, what is an outline? An outline is a list with a hierarchical structure to it that has main points and sub points. As you recall in an earlier training video, when you have a list of items that you want to convert into a numbered or bulleted list, we selected the items, then came up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and click on Bullet or Number. But that's not an outline format as they don't have in it a hierarchical structure as this one does, the multi-level list. And here I want to go over this feature a little bit more in depth, like show you how you can customize it and save that customization so it can be available in all new documents. Otherwise, it'll only be available in this document. And you can see down below in my list I have two of the items in bold. Those bold items are reminders to me that they are main points. So what are my favorite places? There's my subpoints. It's Zions National Park and the Hilton Hotel. And then Potter's responsibilities is to go food shopping and have a camp cleanup team. So with those items selected, to create them into a multi-level hierarchical structured list, come up here on the Home tab, again Paragraph, click on the Multi-Level List drop-down arrow. you got quite a few to choose from. Now when you select one, notice, like this one, when I hover over it, it expands. You can see the hierarchical structure, so the main points will be numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and then any subpoints to the main points will be below that and over to the right indented, and in this case a lowercase a, then any subpoint to the subpoint is going to be a lowercase i and indented a little bit further. And you can see it begins with a number, and some of them begin with numbers, and this one begins with a bullet. So if I select this one right here, well, first of all, it adds numbers to it, and it's not at a multi-level list yet, but because it's offset with numbers, up here in the paragraph group, it's going to highlight the number format. Even though when you click on the drop-down arrow, there's nothing selected because it's not a multi-level list, as opposed to when you click on that, that's highlighted because that's the list that we're using in the list library. Now if I select something that's bulleted, click on it, then it shifts over and it shows us that we're using bullets, not a numbering system, from the multi-level list. When you click on the drop-down arrow, okay, you just get a bunch of bullets, but as a reminder, click on the multi-level list and it's right there. And of course go over the hierarchical structure, but let me go with this one, the numbered, select it, updates it, and to be able to make the subpoints in the hierarchical structure indented over to the right a little bit and have the, well, the first subpoint is lowercase a, b, c, and so on. Let me go ahead and click and drag and select those two subpoints. Hold down the control key and select those other two subpoints. And then I can go ahead and demote them or push them over one of two ways. I can either come up here on the home tab to the paragraph group and use the increase or decrease indents. The increase indent actually moves your paragraph farther away from the margins, so it pushes it over to the right. So when I click on it, it demotes it, and if we come back up here, click on the multi-level list, you can see it's following that hierarchical structure because the next one below the numbering, one, two, three, four, is the lowercase alphabet, A, B, C, and so on. So I can do it that way, or, well, they're both selected still, so I can come back up here and say, no, I don't want it to be that way. Let me decrease it or promote it so it's back at the same level as the main points. Now you can do it that way, or, with them selected still, hit the Tab key. That's a lot quicker for me. And vice versa, if you want to go ahead and decrease it, or I say promote it, but decrease the indent, then hold down the Shift key and hit Tab. And we're back to where we started, but let me hit the tab key because, well, I want to go ahead and finish my outline here. So now I have subpoints to the main point. Let's go ahead and continue with our list. The camp cleanup team, let me hit enter and add some names here. John, Susie, and they're going to be not at the same level as the camp cleanup team because they're supporting or subpoints to the item here. So what we can do is go ahead and select both of them, hit the tab key, and there you go. And back up here, multi-level list. Let's check it out. Is it following the format? Yes, because we have the first layer, first level, which is the one, two, threes. Then the indents, the next layer that's indented a little bit, is the lowercase abcs. Then the subpoint to that subpoint is indented a little further, and it's, well, the lowercase i, 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 v, Roman numerals, lowercase that is. So let's go ahead and click off, and let's say actually that Potter's responsibilities have changed. He's just responsible for food shopping. And the camp cleanup team, well, 
they're their own entity. So let's go ahead and promote them or decrease the indent. So I can go ahead and click at the beginning of the item to be able to use the shortcut keys, shift tab, because if I don't click at the beginning and I click somewhere in it and I do shift tab, oh, that's a boo-boo. Let's go ahead and do control Z to undo that. Click at the beginning, hold down the shift key, hit the tab key, and there we go. And of course, these guys right here are not supposed to be sub, but they're just the sub to the main point here. So shift tab, and there we go. Now we bring them up to speed. And these bolds can go away for the items here. Unbolt that and unbolt that. There we go. All uniform and format. Now, if you want to go ahead and customize or define my own multi level list and not use the built in templates that's up here in the multi level list drop down, like this one or that one, well, you can come down below and click on define new multi level list and notice that when I go down to it, everything here is highlighted. So I can click anywhere in it and then come over here and it knows that I want to update the entire list so it has it all selected. Go ahead and click on define new multi-level list. Opens up define new multi-level list or let's go ahead and click cancel. You can go ahead and right click and then just come up and select adjust list indents. Opens up the same window and what's interesting is here you can see that it's got number three and not number one for the first level because over to the left are all the levels in that multi-level list in the hierarchical structure going from the main point to its sub point to the sub point to the sub to the main and so on and so why does it have number three because i right clicked down below on three to bring it up so if i click cancel and i right click on one and go to adjust list indents then it brings up one and why is that important? Because you can actually, from that point on, like let's say you had 20 main items here, you can save from number three on, you can apply some different formats, and we'll cover that in just a minute. But let's come back up here. So with one selected, you can see it's in bold over to the right, and you can see down below, enter the format for the numbers. So if you want to go ahead and change that and type in like a dash, well, there's your number format, but I don't want to do that. You can do that if you'd like. I want to keep it simple here. And then you can also go to the next level, number two, and say, okay, I want to tweak that, customize that, and make it my own. And so you can see now it's in bold, and it's using the letter A. You can go ahead and use that, and then tweak it, type in something different. You can also click on the font button, and say that you want something that's red, and maybe underline a single line there. You can see down below in the preview. Then click okie dokie, click okie dokie, and it's okay, but you get the point. So if I go ahead and right click again and go to adjust the list indents, that's how you can tweak it there. And then the number style for this list level, if you don't customize it and add something to it, you can change it entirely by clicking on the drop down arrow and you can do Roman numerals and lowercase. Well, in fact, you can actually do bullets or even a new picture. Select new picture and you can browse from your computer or type something on the internet. Happy New Year, hit enter, because hey, we're starting a new year. Now you can select something like this, but remember, the bullet points are going to be pretty teeny tiny. Unless, of course, you want to increase the font, so maybe this won't be apropos, but nonetheless, you can go ahead and select one of them. I'm going to click Cancel and go with the OK. It went with the heart. Oh, that's sweet. Well, that's for the first level here, so it looks like it's kind of jumping around. I can click on the drop down arrow and say, well, don't go for any of that. Let's just go back to the way it was, one. And then I go back to two, select two, and then I can click on the drop down arrow and say, okay, how about that heart? Uh, you can select that or go ahead and say that you want a new bullet and then choose from a list of symbols or scroll down to the bottom, click and drag, wingdings, wingdings, two and three. And you get a bunch of different characters and formats. Let's do that heart, because that's just love. Click okie dokie, and, and then down below that, you got the bullet position. So the bullet position is lined at a quarter of an inch from the margin, and then the text indent is a half inch. So that's how far the text is away from the bullet here. And you can go ahead and increase that or decrease it. And you can set it for all levels, or just leave it at this one. And then if you want something more, click on more. And then there you go. Apply changes to the whole list. Or click on the drop down, say this point forward. But I don't want to do that because 
well, th this point forward is what I have selected here, so that's what comes into play when I right-click on 3, because right now this point is from 1. That would include the entire list. So let me go ahead and click OK so we can see our hearts. Aw. So if I go ahead and right-click on 3, and then go up to Adjust this list, then 3 from that point forward, if I came over here and said OK from this point forward, or Current Paragraph, and then you got a bunch of other additional options here, but I want to keep it simple because I think less is more as an introduction to this feature. And let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie. Now by default, this customization that I created here, this Franken multi-level list, is only available in this document. So if I come up here, click on the File tab, go down to New, and select New Blank Document, and then I came up here and I clicked on the drop-down arrow for multi-level list. It says list in current documents, but it's not available in the list library. And the reason why it's in the current documents is because I still have that document open. So if I, well, let's close out of here, save this and close out of it. And let's go ahead and open up another Word document, double click. And then I come up here in the paragraph group on the home tab, multi-level list. You see it's not there. It would have been in the current documents if I still had that document open. So it's not available in any new documents. So what we have to do to make it available in all new documents is to go ahead and close out and double click to open up the document that we had it in and then come up here click on the multi-level list drop down arrow. Oh you got a couple to choose from that we worked on. If I want to keep this one in all new documents or make it available in new documents then give it a right click and you can save it in the list library because once it's in here Let's go back to make sure after I clicked on it, it'll be available in all new documents. Want to find out? Of course you do. Let's go ahead and save our work, close out, open up a new blank document, come back up here, paragraph group, and it's right there in the list library. And of course you can right click on it, say remove it, so that way it won't be available in any new documents. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.